Hello fellow crafters. I joined a swap at minialbumscraps.neem.com and this is my first uh, yeah, my first swap there. They had a altar um, canvas, an inspirational altar canvas um, swap going on and it was a one-on-one. -on -one. And my partner was Lisa Levitt and she wanted um, her and I talked back and forth email you know about our likes and dislikes and she had mentioned um, Shabby Chic and I did too I really like Shabby Chic and I also like vintage Shabby Chic so um, anyway this is what I created I um, I do a lot of free freehand drawing and well recently I have I haven't done it in a very long time I kind of miss it so I've come back to um, venturing into my creativeness um, that is one thing that scares me um, I know everybody has something that scares them in art that they're afraid to go for and try and and I've always been lately the last couple two or three years I've just got the go for it attitude and and um, I was reading a book by um, let me see if I could find it real quick yeah this is it I was reading this book called Taking Flight and she's got a lot of inspirational um, stuff in here um, a lot of the artists in here were talking about how you know they got started and living without limits looking within and um, and then it has thoughts where you can fill in you know what your thoughts are and then some quotes and then some ideas and different artists and what they've done and it's really inspired me to come out of my shell and start drawing and being creative again with my drawings so enough said about that <clears throat> I drew this doll um, I'm still a little leery and a little nervous about doing faces I mean I can do faces I've done eyes and lips you know portraits and whatnot so she's gonna be faceless this time because um, I'm, I'm still a little nervous about doing that but I've, I've purchased paints and um, pencils and and I'm, I'm starting to um, venture into that so anyways I drew her out and then I traced and laid it down cut it out and then laid it down on um, like a, the skirt um, I drew it out laid it down and then I took strips of paper and just tore them and glued them down and then trimmed off the edges and that's how I created her skirt and then her bodice is the same way I made her body out of um, a card that I got from someone that, you know, after you collect so many of them, I, I use them as femra to me. And I used the music background to do her body and her head. And then I glued the head down on another piece of paper and painted um, her hair. I actually drew and, and used a little bit of paint for the hair. And then this little bodice hair piece here, I, I cut it out. I traced the head so I had the perfect shape. And there's a uh, wild orchid craft flower. These are wild orchid craft flowers here. And then this one is from um, Pro 31 Designs um, Etsy store. These are some beautiful rolled um, paper flowers that I received as a um, on on a gift package from my friend Shar, thank you Shar. So I thought that was perfect. It matched it perfect. These flowers here um, were actually in a package with buttons on them, and I just cut them off and put them in there. And then this is a organza flower that I had made, and um, this is a King and Company. It says Beautiful Dreamer. And that's what I put up here for her inspiration. Well, it's really not an inspiration. It just says beautiful dreamer. I, I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. And then I put this uh, uh, butterfly that I purchased at Hobby Lobby in the kit section, actually. 
And here's another uh, butterfly from Pro 31 Designs. Um, this is the white one. I put it down here. I used um, stickles and put little dots here and here. And then what I did was is I put gesso on the canvas and then went over it with my, excuse me for the reach, my Lindy Stamp Gang Hottie Patati. And I dipped, um, stirred it up real good and then dipped a brush in it and then just brushed it on here and there. Um, and then I stamped a um, script on it here and there and then um, took some stickles and did little swirls all over it. Um, I did some um, <clears throat> distress stain in the picket fence. I, I, I went over it with that to soften it up. And then I also used, I think it's underneath here, oh, sorry, uh, distress ink tea dye. So there's my canvas. It is a, let's see, how big is this one? It's an 8 by 10. That was the size you couldn't ha do one any smaller than that. And on the back I signed it and put one of one. And then I'm going to put a little note um, in here for her to have. And then I made her a card. Share with you the card I made. I used the same paper line. It's a can Company paper line. And these little um, pieces here are from the Brenda Walton collection and they've got a lot of inspiration on it's very shabby chic so that's how I store all my stuff I attach it so I remember wh who who it belonged to and then anyways um, I used the punch Martha Stewart punch oh, let me reach for it here I used this Martha Stewart punch and punched out a strip and then put it across the back here um, and then I pop dotted this um, saying here well I'm saying um a lot today and then I added some of this beautiful trim here this is from um, <laughs> um 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 let's just get it over with Hobby Lobby this is from Hobby Lobby and it's a uh, satin trim I thought I had it sitting out here. I don't know where it went. I uh, glued it down, and then on the back, I put this. Uh, this is actually a flat lace, and I just ruffled it up and put it on the back. And this really pretty trim here across the top. I used glossy accents to glue that down. And then just added some flowers. This is a recollection. It came in this little packet here. This little packet here. And that's a recollection. A uh, couple of the Pro 31 design team flowers and Pro 31 um, spray here. And then we have a Wild Orchid Craft closed rolled rosebuds. So that's my card. I got a little note in there for her and, and I signed it. And it's going in the mail today. I just wanted to um, show everybody my canvas. I'm very proud of it. It's so pretty and pink and shabby. Oh, and the organza bow came in uh, one of my gift packages. And I recycle everything. I use everything um, as much as I can. I make it ephemera. Um, I keep a little box with all scraps of ribbon. In fact, there's an, the scrap piece of that is just underneath here. I just tied it in a knot. And it's sticking out here and here. So don't throw away your scraps or anything you've been given in, in gifts and whatnot and reuse them. I do. Alright, thanks for watching and have a great week. Bye.